Welcome to the Sunday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. In tonight's shave, I am using my ZY430. And this is just a marvelous razor. This I, is my first ZY that I ever got. It is half hollow and holds an edge nicely. Super sharp. And Maddie from Sweden, uh, who is a member of the band On the Road Again, sent me the Swedish Witch. And this is handmade vegan soap. And this is got aloe vera in it. And it is a black pepper and cypress blend with a hint of lavender. It is very nice. Now, you can also click right up here to see now for something completely different, Music in a Shave, and you can listen to some original music by the band On the Road Again from Sweden. All right, now I have had that soap blooming. So we're gonna pour that off and use that as a pre-shave. And this is the first time I've used it, so we're going to find out how this works together. Oh, mm, nice, nice scent. Okay, it's not overpowering, it's mild and just pleasant. It's really quite nice. Yeah, I like it. So far, so good. Now we're gonna get some of that water out of that brush. And I'm using my Omega 10,098. Excellent. All right, and there I had just taken that puck and pushed it down in one of the Van Vanderhagen bowls. And we're gonna load it up. All right. And from what I understand, this soap can take some water. So we're going to go ahead and do it. I, of course, always load up my brush and with uh, and make a lather with a wet brush anyway using the wet brush technique and uh, you could also see that on one of my straight razor edge friday specials which i do on the first and third friday of every month so you can click on the card right now for that and the way I come up with these Straight Razor Edge Friday specials is you ask questions or make suggestions or leave, leave it in the comments. So, uh, you know, give me a comment to uh, come up with an idea for a Straight Razor Edge Friday special. So go ahead and put your comment, question, or suggestion for the upcoming Straight Razor Edge Friday special in the comments below. All right. And I am thinking this is feeling really good. Look at this. I'm making just an incredible mess. So let's stop there. We're going to put some of that on the brush. This I've got this everywhere. Just marvelous. Yeah. So we're just going to put that on. Part of the pre-shave routine. Oh yeah. Mm. And it is very nice scent. It is uh, a mild scent, so it's not overpowering. I like that. I really do. And there you go. I think we got enough. Let's find out. Okay. Ian, how are you doing? Hmm? Hopefully you're well, and the world's treating you good, and you're in high spirits, yeah. And you're having a good weekend, yeah. That would be good, huh? Oh 
idea. This is really starting to work. Yeah, hopefully you, you've had some downtime and uh, been able to spend some time with your friends and family. Yeah. And be able to relax. Just relax. Enjoy. You know, that's what the shaving business is all about. Relaxing and enjoying. Oh, look at that lather. I think I hit it spot on. First try out of the gate. Nice. Very nice. And really kicked up a, a decent lather very quickly. So, now this is pass one, which is going to primarily be with the grain. Let's do this. Kind of got that a little too far up in there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Look at that, just blew right through it. And check that out. That's some serious cushion. Oh yeah, very nice. Very nice. All right. There we go. Gotta work on my spreading skills. Oh yeah, very nice. There we go. Now switching hands. There it is. We're gonna get this other side. All right.
All right, there you go. Check that out. Brilliant. Very nice. There we go. Nice. Very good. Great first pass. Now, let's see how we did. Get that washed off. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. That's good. And this soap has some nice residual slickness as well. Yeah. Now, just get it wet again. Just get the skin wet. Brilliant. Wonderful. Now, this is going to be pass two. And this is a good time for me to remind you, I do the Shave of the Day videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So stop on by. It's always good to see you here. It really is. And really appreciate the wonderful comments and questions that uh, you guys have. You know, you are the best at asking questions and comments. Really are quite good. I always enjoy reading them and answering your comments. So just feel free down in the comments. Go ahead and let me know what's going on with you. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to put a little more water on this. Let's just kick it up. Oh yeah. There you go, look at that. This soap can take the water. Oh yeah, nice. Very nice. There we go. All right. Now, this is pass two. This is primarily going to be against the grain on my cheeks like that. It's going to be against the grain here and on my chin, on my neck, here and here. That's going to be across the grain. All right. So let's do this.
All right. Now, let's switch hands and get this other side. Switching up that handle. There we go. Nice. Yeah, good performing soap. It really is. This is working quite nicely. All right, and switching hands again. Let's do this. Nice. Yeah, really good. Okay. Now, let's get that cleaned off, see how we did. I think we're fine. Let's just find out. Mm, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, those cheeks are right where we want them. Nice. Very good. Now, time for the half pass. Yep. That's going to be... Yeah, a little close there. That's going to be on my jawline and my neck. We'll just put some soap on that. And that'll be fine. Yeah, on my jawline and my neck. And this is going to primarily be against the grain. Yeah. And this is how I found works for me. You can click right up here on this card to see the half pass reveals all right and check it out uh, if you'd like and you can see if this may work for you or not you know 
everybody's different. So just go ahead and do what works for you. Yeah. All right, nice. That's looking good. Fantastic. So that is working for me. Okay, now here we go with the half pass. Let's do this, right? Yeah, for me, this is a really comfortable razor. This was a daily driver for quite some time. Oh yeah, nice, fantastic. All right, now here we go. Let's get this other side. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Right, there we go, another shave in the books. Yep, and that was a good one. That felt good. Let's find out. Let's find out how we did. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wow. Okay, that's really, really excellent. All right, now, alum everywhere. And I just dry that off. There we go. Next, for aftershave, Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel. I think this is gonna work fine. This is good. Excellent stuff. Really good for the face too. And I put that everywhere, I do. It's so good. Next, for our bomb tonight, all right, Minstock, and this is Spice Island. This, to me, is seems like it's gonna really work quite nicely with that soap. So, we're just gonna do this, and that's gonna top it off, yep. Because this is kind of spicy. Like that black pepper and cypress. 
blend of soap that the Swedish witch made. That is excellent. And it does have a hint of uh, lavender. So that's good. This is going to work. Hey, I really appreciate you. That was just brilliant soap. And uh, thank you so much, Maddie, for sending that to me and let me try it. it. I appreciate you and your band. You click right up here to see the last Friday special, which is a uh, comparison between the Derby and Arco. And it's a blooming soap review. All right, check it out. You can click right over here to see my latest video. Click down here on the video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.